Hello, everybody. Welcome to this English class. So, this is the distance teaching program, and it is English for grade 10 students. And today we are starting new unit, which is unit six, the way I see it. And today lesson is lesson one, comparatives and superlatives, or we can say comparative and superlative attitudes. So. As not more meet each other on Friday, so today Friday, August 6, 2021. So before I start teaching, I would like to inform you about being awareness of COVID-19. So be careful with that, as you know that the three do and three don'ts are already, so please apply this properly. And then be careful with the, the data variant, which is the new virus, yeah. So, um, Please uh, be aware of that and I hope that you stay safe and sound with your family members and friends as well. Without further ado, let me uh, get started with checking homework. So last week I gave you homework, right? So um, some of your friends sent to me but uh, right now, but I chose only one from your classmate and show you here to verify the answer. So as you know that here you have to combine this. Uh, uh, particles into words so that you can use it in the uh, uh, conversation uh, or in the sentences here, right? So um, this is the answer from your classmate here. So number one, he will complete the sentences using the words in bold ones only. Yeah. So uh, we have two, like someone and anyone. So number one, there's someone on the phone for you. And number two, did anyone ring me last night? Yeah. So these two are the example for us. And let's get started with the next one. We have everything and nothing. Okay. So um, number three here, she has blah, 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 a rich husband and a big house. So do we use uh, nothing or everything? So for, for this guy, he is um, everything. Why? Because he, she has everything here. She has a rich husband and a big house. And number four, he has, so plur, 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 and let's check the meaning. He has not a penny to his name. So it must be nothing, right? He has nothing, not a penny to his name. So the next, we have uh, somewhere and everywhere. So number five, I can't find my keys. I've looked, plur, plur, plur. number six, I want to go away on holiday and port here. So we have somewhere and everywhere. Then he choose uh, everywhere first. So for number five here. So I can't find my keys. I've looked everywhere. Yeah, which is correct. And number six, I want to go away on holiday. Yeah, on holidays. And then um, we have somewhere. So somewhere hot. Yeah, somewhere hot. Okay, so we have the next one. We have anyone and no one. So number seven, who did you speak to at a party? And then plur, 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 I just stayed for 10 minutes and I left. If we put um, anyone, so it doesn't verify or doesn't mention to the, the next sentence. So if we use, uh, if we, if we use uh, anyone for this uh, place, meaning that it doesn't verify or it doesn't make sense to the next uh, sentence because uh, the person say I just stayed for 10 minutes and then I left. So it means that the answer is no one. Okay, no one. I just stayed for 10 minutes. Then I left. I couldn't see anyone I knew at the party. So I left. So the first place, uh, 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 the number, number seven here, we use uh, no one here. And number eight here, we use uh, anyone. So uh, this person make a correct answers. So we go to number nine. Yeah. So we have uh, someone and everyone. So number nine, it was a great concert. So, so do we put uh, someone or everyone? In this case, we use uh, everyone enjoys it, enjoy the concert. And could someone lend me five pounds till the end of the week? So, yes, your classmate also met the correct answer with this one, right? So, um, now we have done the here for 10 sentences here. 
So we move to the next task. So complete the sentences with one of the words in exercise one. So they, they want us to use one of the word here, like uh, someone, anyone, uh, nothing, everything, somewhere, everywhere, anyone or no one, or someone or everyone here to complete this sentence, uh, these uh, blanks, okay? So the first one has been done for us. Uh, does anyone know who this book is? Yeah. So this is the uh, end, uh, the example for us. So we start doing number two. Please don't worry about me. I'm fine. And of course, the F, the matter. So what is it? Yes, of course, it is nothing. It means nothing's the matter or nothing is the matter. There's no problem with that. So he also made the correct answer for that. And number three is there. Blah, blah, blah. I can do to have with the meal. Can you say or what can you do? Can you? Is there anyone I can do? No. We use is there any anything I can do to have with the meal? Okay. So he also made the correct answer for that one. Number nine. Uh, sorry. Number four. I'm so unhappy. I'm so unhappy. I'm not happy. Yeah. So uh, loves me. So what is it? Do we just and uh, nothing loves me which is no one loves me yeah so uh he also made a great answer for that number five i put my glasses what is it anything anywhere or somewhere safe and now i can't find them so we use somewhere safe okay uh, i put my glasses somewhere safe and now i can't find them yeah uh he also made a correct one uh, number six, which is the last one. We are going to sing happy birthday. And then has to join in. So nothing has to join in or everything has to join in or everyone has to join in. Yes, of course, we use everyone because the other one refers to people. Yeah, so everyone has to join in. Okay, so he also made a great answer. Perfect, he made all correct answers for this uh, pass. So thank you very much everyone for uh, doing the homework. So now it's time for us to review, briefly review the uh, task we studied last week, right? So do you still remember that what lesson we studied last week? Of course, last week we studied about grammar point, okay? We got study about grammar. So one of the grammar we studied was the uh, phrasal verb. Do you still remember phrasal verb? Phrasal verb is a combination of verb plus adverb over plus preposition, right? So like example here, grow plus of. So it it become phrasal verb. So grow is a verb, yeah? And of is a preposition. So uh, throw is a verb and away is an adverb, yeah? So move is a verb, back is an adverb. So yes, of course, so the phrasal verb is the combination of a verb plus preposition or a verb plus an adverb. Yeah, and it changed the meaning of the verb. Yeah, it changed the meaning of the verb. This is just a preview on the first verbs. So now let's get into the next activity. So before starting the lesson closely right now, it is close to the, le to the new lesson. So I want to ask you, what can you see on this picture? I hope if you look at this picture, you would see the same picture but dif different in size, right? Different in size. So it means that some big, some small, and some medium, right? So we have small, we have medium, we have big. So we can say this is a big picture. Okay, this is a small picture. This is the medium picture. Okay, so when we use big or small, yeah, we are talking about an adjective that we use to describe the noun. So if we say this is a big picture, it means that we use an adjective big to modify, to describe the noun picture. So how does the picture look like? The picture is big, something like that, right? So uh, this is just this, uh, this very, uh, very quick um, uh, impression I want to uh, share with you guys. So. This is the new lesson, new unit, which is unit 6, 
the way I see it and lesson one comparative and superlative so by the end of this lesson you will be able to compare things and people by using adjectives given yeah so in study in case study and the practice exercise is prepared in the lesson so I prepared the exercise okay so now let's move to the new lesson so this is a today lesson the way I see it right so before looking at this ladies I would like to ask you I would like you to consider the topic here the way I see it so when saying the way I see it it means that whatever is you see things around you so the way you see things around you right okay so let's take a look at this beautiful lady so everything looks nice um even her uh boots yeah and her hairdo yeah everything her clothes very nice and her name is mir okay m i a so can you see on the picture here beside a lady of course you see the lady but can you see uh something else yes i hope that you can uh, uh, you can avoid closely and you will see something different uh, on this picture. I believe that you can answer by yourself. Okay, so uh, can you guess what is she doing? Is she uh, watching TV or is she uh, taking uh, the pictures or what is she doing? So these are the two questions I want you to think by yourself. I want to propose the ideas by yourself. Try to think of these two questions. That's fine. That's okay. So now we've moved to our um, real lesson for today, which is basic competitive superlative additives. So as normally we can say, uh, we, 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 normally we can see it in the word um, like a uh, small, uh, sorry, a uh, old, small, new, busy, noisy, dry, big, wet, hot, important, modern, exciting, expensive, cheap, rich, poor, handsome, uh, pretty, young, and so on. So all of these are basic attitude. The attitude that we use, like for example, he is an old man, or he is old, uh, he is small, it is small, it is new, something like that. So this is the basic uh, foundation. So I have a question for you. I have a couple of questions actually. Um, so when do we use uh, more and the most with these uh, attitudes, with this attitude? Can you answer this? Another question, when do we use ER and EST or IEST? So I hope that you try to think of these questions. So, so this is the changing process of the competitive of the comparative. So the question was asked about uh, when we use more and the most and E R or S T or E R I E S T, right? So here it is. So uh, the adjective that we use, if it is one syllable, so the form is sub, uh, sorry, the form is adjective plus uh, E R. And plus then, then here when we use in the uh, sentence or in our speaking, we will use then that. Yeah. So for example here, all, which is an adjective here, and eo. So all and eo together equal uh, older. Yeah. So this is the comparative with one syllable uh, adjective. If there is two or more syllable adjectives. We use more before the attitude and then we use then after the attitude when uh, writing and speaking, right? So for example, like more important, important. So uh, more plus important, so we get uh, more important. And when, then we use in the speaking or writing, we can say um, it is more expensive than mine. Or we can say your bag is more expensive than my or than my bag okay something like that so that's why i put them here uh, in the, them here in the bracket because i just want to mention that when you use it in speaking and writing you will have to uh, use it to combine with this uh, attitude uh, yeah to make it more sense and correct in grammatical rules okay so um, another thing is about changing process of superlative. Here is about comparative. If you com want to compare two two things, 
or two group of people or group of thing or group of animal but now we use we are talking about uh, changing process of uh, superlative which is about uh, the uh, we compare one thing to a group of people or a group of things or a group of animal so here is one of the amount of uh, people we compare to right so the rule is that if one syllable is used the yeah when we use the when we use a superlative attitude in writing or speaking we use the before attitude and plus e s t or i e s t according to attitude right for example like uh, the plus new which is an attitude here and e s t here which is um uh here the subject here yeah so um the new west okay the new west and uh, we can give another example if you want to know it clearly about the uh, i e s t we can use the word bc right so the plus bc for example here you can put the plus bc here and change y to i and then you add e s t so it becomes the bcs okay the bcs so we spell a, a b u s i e s t yeah bcs okay bcs okay if there are two or more syllable additive you have to use the plus most okay don't forget most okay most and plus additive here so we don't just stand in actually uh, you can see that we use the and most in the superlative here but we don't use more and the here in the superlative uh comparative but we use then in and more instead of uh, most and the okay so uh, for example here the plus most plus uh adjective which is expensive so we say the most expensive the most uh, important the most handsome okay or we can say the both friendly okay if we move to the next uh, slide we would see a table of basic comparative and superlatives yes this one i have prepared for you so you can just see here this column is the basic attitudes and this column is for comparative attitudes and this column is for superlative attitudes so for example you say old for example you say my phone is old example and then you want to compare your phone to your brother phones example so you say my phone is older than your phone or you can say my phone is older than my brother's phone something like that or if you want to use the word old the same but you want to compare in your family you have one phone your brother have one phone and your mom have has another another phone right so you say my mom phone is the oldest and you can say like this okay my mom's phone is the oldest yeah so we compare uh amongst others uh, items okay among other items with superlative attitude here and small we have the same d we have the same thing here small and smaller plus then so when we use in writing speaking we have to use then uh it is not really necessary yeah we can't say uh my, my phone is older your phone no we must use then here but mostly i i noticed that some student uh miss uh understand or make mistake on the word then here they dispel with letter e here t h e n so that is not then uh, uh <clears throat> that word it means then t a t h a n so be careful with this one as well so again uh, we have small and so, uh, basic uh, attitude and then we have smaller than and we have the smallest then we have busy and busier than okay uh, we can say i'm busy and then your friends say i'm busier than you something like that oh you you uh, another another person come and say i am the busiest yeah you can say that and important yeah so more important than yeah and the most important expensive more expensive less than or we can say more expensive than and the most expensive handsome more handsome than the most handsome friendly 
uh, in the basic uh, attitude and in competitive we can use two in two ways uh, the first we can use more friendly than or we can say friendlier than okay and in superlative we can say uh, the more friendly or we can say the friendliest and the last one is the uh, clever in basic attitude and in competitive we can say more clever than or clever than okay so uh, just want to uh, mention just want to um, know uh, you uh, i just want you to note that uh, when we use uh, more clever we also use with then and also uh, we can use uh, clever than as well in superlative here uh, we use the most clever or the cleverest yeah we can say uh for example like in a class there are 10 students and then one student is the cleverest okay or you can say he is the cleverest student in a class yeah so that's that 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 that's it for our lesson and this is the very basic uh, understanding or and very helpful for for you guys to to form the attitude when using in basic form or competitive form or superlative form so now i want you to practice i want i don't want you to just study in theory but i want you to practice as well so i have one practice for you or you can say practice one and i want you to fill in the following blanks whether it is basic competitives or superlatives right are you ready so if you're ready please get started so number one so here i just want to mention that we have 10 uh, sentences so you have to complete 10 blanks as well so uh so number one he is blah, 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 and young we have attitude young so according to what uh, uh the lesson that we studied before when we see this case do we use basic attitude competitive or superlative he is uh, young or he is younger than or he is the youngest of course uh, he is young so in this case we use with the basic attitude because why because we don't have then we, we don't have anything to compare with yeah we don't have anything to compare with so it's just a basic uh, attitude something so we use he is young so he's young he's not old yeah number two they are blah, 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 and we have then here and her then her yeah so we have to the attitude rich so what can we say they are richer than than her hey okay. number three we are blah, blah, plus people for our country and we have attitude important so what is it will you use in the basics of competitive or superlative form you have to decide it first before you use the attitude to complete this do we have then no so what should we do we do we say could we say we are important people for our country or we can say we are the most important people for our country for our country yeah so uh, for this case we are uh, uh, using superlative to uh, compare here for, yeah for a group of people in the country in the whole country so there are a lot of people uh, in the country so we just use we here refer to a group a small group of people in the society so we use superlative so we say we are the most important people for our country number four mr Pitt is a popular than his friend and we have the attitude poor so what's that he is the most poorest or the poorest than his friend let's check it now he is poor okay we add e, uh, er he is poorer than his friend okay we mr Pitt is poorer than is his friend number five she is a black, black, black girl in class look this is the situation is she's the one girl and comparing to people in a class so we have 
the adjective friendly. So what is it? So let's check the answer. She is the most friendly girl in the class. Or we can say, and remember that friendly, we can just in two way, right? We can use uh, the most friendly or we can say the friendliest, okay? You can also say she is the friendliest girl in the class. Number six, you are, and we have added the flavor. So let's decide, we use basic, competitive, or superlative. Let's check the answer here. You are flavor. So that's it, because we have nothing to compare. So we use the basic form. Number seven, iPhone 5 is, and we have uh, cheap here, it's an additive, which is an additive, and then iPhone 6 Plus. So can we say iPhone 5 is uh, the cheapest than uh, iPhone 6 Plus? No, this one we are comparing two things. So we use comparatives. So we say iPhone 5 is cheaper than iPhone 6 Plus. So we just add e, uh, ER to the uh, adjective. Number eight, Ari is a popular girl in the family. And we have the adverb flavor. So, what is it? So let's check the answer here. Ari is the cleverest girl in the family. So maybe in in the family there are some people, right? Maybe choosing for some people here in the family. Uh, as you know, that the family is a group of people, right? So compare one person, Mary, um, Dari, to the other uh, family member. That's why we use uh, superlative. To, uh, to, com uh, to compare one to a group of people. So, Dari is the cleverest girl in the family. Or we can be, remember the, uh, the attitudes are uh, friendly and clever, we can use uh, in two different forms as well, right? We can say the cleverest or the most clever. Okay, so now let's uh, check number four, number nine. Bupa is blah, 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 and her brother. So we have busy. Right, we have a uh, attitude BC. So what is that? We are now comparing two people, right? One to another one. So we use competitives, right? So if we if we want to change BC to uh, in, uh, into competitives, we have to change Y. Uh, we have to uh, change Y to I, right? And add E as T. So we can say Opa is busier than a brother. The last one, number ten. Ra is the plus, plus person in the company. So in a company, there's a lot of people, right? So we have to do and some. So what would we say? Let's check the answer. Ra is the most handsome person in the company. Yes. So we compare one man or one person to other people, to the other staff in the company. So that's why we use superlatives here. So the Ra is the most handsome person in the the company that's it this is uh the end of our practice so uh before ending the class i would like to make a quick wrap up so do you remember this is what we have learned today we studied about basic competitive and superlative and mostly we we focus on comparative and superlative because basic we 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 all already know it. We we use it daily already for this one. But just want to mention to you as a basic idea in order to um, let you get uh, more understanding on uh, competitive and superlative here. So these are the two items that we uh, we have studied today: uh, competitive and superlatives yeah so if you want to use it in your daily reading uh, there is speaking and daily writing you can use competitives and superlatives in your writing to make it more attractive to make it more interesting right great great job so um yes um and also move to homework which is the last task here so here is our homework today so First, you have to use uh, any adjective to make two sentences. So you need to uh, add to make two sentences, right? So for example, old, yeah, he is old, rich, they are rich, and that's it. And we use any competitive adjective to make two sentences. You have to use a uh,
compared to, for example, like richer, busier, smaller, yeah, and shorter or younger or uh, older, yeah, or more important than, more friendly than something like that to make two sentences. So only choose two competitive attitudes to make two sentences. And the last one, see, use any superlative, superlative attitudes here to make two sentences as well. So for example, like busiest, easiest, or smallest, the smallest, yeah, or we can say uh, uh, the biggest, or we can say the cleverest, the friendliest, or the more friendly, so we all we, we can say we can also say um uh the more handsome or something like that to use only uh, to use only two superlative attitudes to make two sentences so there is there will be six sentences here so two uh attitudes two competitors and two superlatives uh, to make uh, two sentences of each all right after having done the homework please uh, you can take a photo and then uh, send it to the group so that I can notice it as well. So uh, in our group here. So the deadline of the task is on Thursday, August 12, 2021. Thank you, everyone. So um, thank you so much for your uh, participation in any task. And uh, make sure that uh, you practice uh, uh, practice your language, practice your speaking, reading, writing, and listening, uh, because you are now the learner of English. So you have to practice, see? Here, uh, practice makes better. So the more you practice, the more you get better. Remember this. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. I hope that you will uh, uh, take your responsibility to do the task I just assigned you. And also uh, stay safe and sound with your family member. I uh, hope to see you in the next uh, teaching video. Goodbye, everyone. Good luck.